But they're what's passing, happening? They're passing through Keene and they don't care about the place. Well, they're kids. They're, they're going to be unruly and because so, there's no no leadership around. So you know what I mean? Provide the leadership. They don't yeah, but them. violating the Fourth Amendment and violating statutes and the the New Hampshire State Constitution is not the way to do it. You can't break the law while enforcing a town ordinance. It's ridiculous. I cannot, you know, no, there's no cop in the world that has a right to violate your constitutional rights because as soon as they're allowed to do that, they're going to take it for a mile and then your rights are going to be keep violated. But if you keep having things broken, they're not doing anything anyway and we should catch them not doing anything about it. I got assaulted four times right there last Friday cops watching and they didn't do anything about it they don't care about their property all they care about is revenue we want to change that we want them to care about your property we want them to care about who's running in your backyard and knocking down you know sections of fences my, my aunt lives my aunt owns property in Norton Massachusetts nor you know Wheaton College is there yeah, I mean, and she deals with it all the time I, I feel you trust me because I'm fixing her fence like it seems like every six months you know I understand all that but cops do not have the right to break the law while trying to enforce a, a, a just a regular violation. I agree. And what they're doing is they're harassing young girls that don't know any better, don't know their rights, searching their bags illegally, you know, it, which is a violation of the Fourth Amendment, and it's ridiculous. They break the law all the time, and it needs to stop. And when that integrity level comes up and their standards come up, maybe they'll start looking at your property a lot more. You know what I mean? But that's where I'm coming from. Well, I understand you know? the idea, and I admire the idea, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, because they don't care. They care about revenue. They care more about getting a girl over there than somebody running through your backyard knocking a section of fence down. I'm telling you right now, that's what they care about the most. Why do you I think... I those teenage girls are going to stop drinking because of what happened. Tonight. Yeah, that's not going to deter them to stop drinking. But I, I'm... I'm I'm JP, by the way. Michael. Michael, nice meeting you. you too. Yeah, my buddy Marlon stays here. Oh, yeah, I know him. Yeah, I've known Marlon for a long time. He's my buddy. Tell him JP said hi. I will. Yeah. All right, you have a good night, man. You too. I'm sorry I came off harsh. I oh, no. We, we, I, I want to hear what people stuff. think. You know, it's nice to hear what people when think. When I was growing up, students did things. You know, they didn't sit around and expect something to happen. So I'm glad that you guys at least are are taking a stand on something. Yeah, well, we're not out here to harass the police. I, I mean, I, you might hear me harass him because he does a lot of bad stuff. But you never, you rarely hear me do it to other cops. But, you know, I feel you. And if we're out, we'll keep an eye on your property, too. We, we don't like people, you know, we don't like victims. We don't like people, you know, they, they, I mean, his, this gentleman right here had a flag stolen off his porch one night. You know, we don't like that to happen to anybody, you know? I got a brother who lives in Nashville and he told me that they were going to lay off the cop during um, 